House Bill 62, the texting while driving bill, uh, just passed the House chamber, I believe it was 113 to 32 uh, nays. Um, after a few hours of debate and uh, different amendments that did get on, some didn't, uh, Speaker Craddock, former Speaker, now Dean of the House, uh, author, you've offered, authored this bill before, you've been here before. Uh, what's different this time? I think the main difference has been that people have become more aware of the problem We've got 46 states that have adopted it, so we're one of the four that haven't, and they're seeing lower accidents, lower deaths, lower property damage, so all this went into effect. But I think mainly people in their local districts have told members, we want it done, and it's causing problems. We had good testimony in the committee by groups and people that were affected, and I think that's a big factor. You did accept some amendments today. Do you think those will improve the chances of the bill, both you know, getting uh, through the Senate and eventually to Governor Abbott's desk? I do. I, we accept not making a criminal violation so you can't be arrested on the spot for it, which is something we should have put in there anyway. And so, you know, and, we, and a couple of other corrective amendments. We clarified that last amendment we accepted, clarified that a city and the state both couldn't get the, you know, do the fee, mm -hmm. charge you the fee. So basically it came out the way we came out, out of the committee with it. Have you heard any feedback if it does make it to Governor Abbott's desk, if it'll get his signature? I know he's kind of uh, wavered a little bit and said he'll decide once it gets there. Right. Well, I think most governors do that and, and not trying to influence a bill, but I think he'll sign it. He's, he's said in different areas around the state, including my hometown, that he'd sign it if it was passed. Dean Craddock. We are reporting at the state capitol. This is Alana Rocha for the Texas Tribune.